Yeah, yeah, why out gone? Welcome back to Source Fed, I'm William Payne. Marijuana is taking over the United States. It's like the country is finally like, oh, this isn't even that bad. It makes you think about things, unlike alcohol, which makes me hit my wife. Well, we might be taking it a little farther because a dispensary in Oregon is establishing its first marijuana drive through Curry County Economic Development Director Julie Schmelzer said, I've seen the business plan. I've met the investors, and I believe this venture is gonna be quite an asset to the area. Of course it will. Not only will it bring money in for the state, but fast food drive throughs are gonna make twice as much money. Matter of fact, can we open a vegetable drive-thru? People love drive-thrus. They're way more likely to go buy things if they don't have to get out of their car and run into somebody they know. Matter of fact, I'm less likely to eat at your place if somebody I know likes it. Thank God for drive-thrus. I don't have to run into anybody but bad service. But sadly, for some reason, we mostly only have drive-thrus for cheesy heart attack items. Just put carrots on the menu and call it the carrot nader and people will come. It's an idea. Speaking of fast food, usually when you eat, you're sitting there looking at your meal thinking, I really hope this doesn't kill me. Well, luckily for you, a steamed fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A, just just announced their food is super duper healthy regarding their chicken nuggets at least. They have printed lifestyle tips on the side of their bags that claim that they can help you with some new healthy habits like eat smaller meals, like an eight count pack of grilled nuggets every three to four hours. Oh my God, if you did that, I don't think you'd make lifestyle choices anymore. I'm pretty sure if you eat at Chick-fil-A more than once a day, you die right there in front of all your friends. Also, if you actually did follow their diet, you'd be spending about $3.85 a serving, which would be about $700 a month. With that kind of budget, you can eat at Whole Foods every day and never see any of your friends because they don't have money for that. Let's be honest. Chances are your friends don't eat at Whole Foods unless your friend's dad invented something or your friend likes spending a bunch of money or your friend likes seeing people walk through the place in leggings and getting shakes. I don't know what they do there. And Chick-fil-A, don't think we forgot about the homophobia. Your Polynesian sauce isn't that good. I'm not eating that Chick-fil-A until they print on the side of their bags a sign that says, okay, sorry about the homophobia thing. Also, don't eat here more than once a day because you will die right in front of all your friends. Nah. These fries are dope though. So what do you guys think about all this? Would you eat at Chick-fil-A more than once a day? Do you think their chicken nuggets are a healthy lifestyle choice? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm William Hayes. Do you remember your dad's deck, Reyna? Like, sent him over the edge was KK. Yeah, he thought it was Kim Kardashian, right? Yeah, he th